Has Dan Brown joined the Freemasons? What happened to the Key of Solomon? A recent letter to a lodge in the United States on Dan Brown's own letterhead might reveal the truth. Dan Brown has just released a new book called The Lost Symbol. It is based around the circumpunct, a circle with a dot in the middle. Scholars say it represents our sun. But new evidence shows that it is not our sun being represented, but another, the star of Ra. It ties with the leg of the bull, another Egyptian symbol, and the Christ symbol, the sacred cross, are about to be revealed. An ancient coffin lid shows the meaning of the leg of the bull. It's Egyptian, it was the priestess of Hathor, and here we can see the Big Dipper is not the leg of the bull. It is a perfect match with the Pleiades. And if that is true, the ultimate tomb of the Egyptians has a whole new story to tell. One of the earliest depictions of the Ra symbol is found in the Senma tomb in Egypt. It has a mural showing all the gods on terra firma, while the narrator points up to the sky at the celestial leg of the bull. It is Taurus. It has the bullhead crown, and Orion shows the way as Horus. The circumpunct is shown in context with the stars, the Pleiades. A whole new meaning comes to light. The symbol of the double cross, the cross of Christ, is found on the Hebrew Key of Solomon parchment. It is a pictographic cipher. It's on record in the British Library in the UK. It depicts the sacred cross as Orion. Orion showing the way to the star that is the star of Ra and it is nothing like scholars have said in the past. The actual Key of Solomon cipher itself has a puzzle around the outer rim and to put that puzzle together sequentially it makes the constellation of the Pleiades. The whole cipher is complete and the star of Ra is at the center of the pictographic cipher. The symbol is clear, it's the star of Ra. The origins of Freemasonry are a mystery. The original document, the First Degree Tracing Board, is a historical document at the Bradford University in the UK. It has the blazing star as the ultimate star. It has a beam of light coming down to it, to the earth. And at the bottom of the ladder or beam of light, it shows the Ra symbol. Now if you were to take out the sun and the moon, as Freemasons insist that those two orbs at the top part of the document represent, we are left with just the stars in the sky. Remove the associated pillars that represent those two that we've removed, and we are left with one pillar, one marker on the ground. This is Washington DC, and it's at a special time on the night sky, the 15th of September, a date now forgotten that Dan Brown carefully arranged for his book launch to coincide with. This is the secret of the blazing star. I have found three pieces of evidence that prove the Ra symbol is not our sun, but another. All three of them are shown here with a beam of light coming down from the star that is a unique character and an ancient reference. It is found with a blazing star on the Freemason tracing board. We saw that came from an Egyptian tomb 3,500 years ago and it's on the Solomon Key parchment, all of which Dan Brown did not include in his book. The most important story is how the Christ symbol fits the Yule tree, the Christmas tree that Christianity has adapted from something far more ancient. It was called Sol Invictus. It was a celebration of the rising or the rebirth of this sun-like star and its beam of light coming down from it. The tree was chosen for that shape. Roslyn and Arlington in Washington DC illuminate at night to form the symbol of the leg of the bull. Across the river, the Washington Monument, the obelisk, is the X that marks the spot. It has the Ra's symbol at its base. It can be seen from the sky. Other ancient civilizations had the same template on the ground. Iran, Lalibela, they all seem to have the same obsession. There are many more that are published in my book. Looking back at Washington DC, you'll see the Pentagon has a unique shape. It has a northern pointer. On Mars, the same thing. It has the same shape and the 
pyramids of Mars seem to be in the same shape as the Pleiades. Looking at the northern pointer, you can see the two in comparison. And looking at the face on Mars against that of Iran, they both seem to have the same monument. All of this is published in my book, and it will be available more prominently in the United States. But more importantly, I'm doing a tour of ancient Egypt with Hilary Ramo, showing the tomb of Senmut and all the origins of the Ra symbol following down the Nile and the reason they worshipped the bull. And it was only because it was the place of their gods, our ancestors, came from the star of Ra.